Yo, what's up guys, Gecko here, and today we are continuing our Bluntlock challenge. And you may be wondering, Gecko, why are we in the wild area? Aren't we supposed to be fighting the gym? Well, yes, we are going to fight the gym, but my buddy Biakaroth let me know that we can actually get a Firestone for Charlie before the first gym, which is kind of wild. But we can actually just head over the bridge to the riverbank. And there's a Firestone right over here for us to grab, which is fantastic. This was the Firestone that I was planning to get for her. Um, but for some reason, I thought it doesn't let you cross that bridge. I, I don't know why I thought that. Uh, so, yeah, we actually are able to get this right now. Um, which is fantastic. So, we're going to fly to... Where are we? Town map. Uh, back to where the jib is. We're going to evolve Charlie, and then uh, we are going to use the move reteacher, relearner person, in the Pokemon Center uh, to beef up Charlie and give her an amazing move set and have an OP Arcanine immediately. <laughs> so let's grab our Firestone here. It's time, Charlie. I know we just met you, but it is already time for you to evolve, hon. Come here. It's time. You beautiful, beautiful baby. I freaking love Arcanine. Honestly, probably my favorite Kanto Pokemon. Definitely one of them. What are we learning? Extreme speed? We can learn that, for sure. So, get rid of this. There are definitely other good moves she can learn, but... We'll just take that for now since it asked us. What have we got? Okay, so we skip all the fire ones. Helping hand's not going to be good. She's already fast. Retaliate. Uh, well, crunch is just better bite, so let's do that. I do really like the, the flinch you can get from bites. Sometimes I do hesitate to replace bite, to be honest. Um, but with the nature of this challenge, we want as much power behind these attacks as we can get, so... Um, ooh, reversal. Hmm. Yeah, let's, and we definitely want play rough. Like, this is one of the strongest things we get. Definitely reversal. There we go. Play rough. Come back in time. We will. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Um. Oh, whoops, I meant to go into my items, because the other thing I want to check is if we do have any TMs she can learn that might be helpful. We don't have very many of these yet. Uh, Swift is not better than what we have. Um, this is a pretty great moveset already, though. Um, so I'm just going to go rearrange the order of the attacks, because I always do this, because I obsess over what order everything's in. Because I like putting the strongest thing up front that we'll probably use the most. So... Yeah, we'll do that. Sweet. Alright, well, let's just go. We are all set now. And, as you may have guessed, we'll be using Charlie for this gym, considering she is an Arcanine against a Grass-type gym. So, we are, we are totally ready for this. Let's get in our uniform. I will say one thing that still really, really bothers me about the uniforms in this game is that it lets you buy other uniforms, but you don't get to wear them into the gym. You literally just buy it like other clothing to wear as an outfit outside. It's like, this is so... Why can't I buy a different jersey to wear? This is lame. That was one thing that really bothered me and other people. Like, people were like, what? Like, like can we, we buy these and not actually use them? But, whatever. I just wish I could, like, wear a cooler one than this. Alright, let's herd these Wooloo. We're gonna herd you so well, Wooloo. You won't even know where to go. Well, actually, you will, because we're gonna herd you well, and you'll know exactly where to go. Oh my gosh, I love these things so much. What a good Pokemon.
Doink. No, Yamper. You are a very good boy, but I need these sheep. Yamper, I need these sheep, please. Thank you. Oh, there's a train right there. I literally didn't even see that person. You don't scare me. Honest okay, honestly, let me check the PP of this stuff. Because I did not do that. I mean, we're probably fine. Oh, yeah, okay. I was thinking that, like, play rough might be five or something. That wouldn't make sense, so it's not that strong. Hi, Samuel. Imagine you're, like, this little young trainer, so happy to, like, land his first job at the gym. And then this stupid anime girl rolls up with a mother freaking Arcanine. Like, I, I would just, I'm just crushing this dude's dream right now. A freaking level 17 Arcanine. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Samuel. There's there's nothing you could do. It's not your fault. I kind of wish this gym had a little more variety, though, in terms of the, um... Uh, like, Pokemon they use. Because it's like, Milo has two Pokemon from the same evolution line. This guy also used a Gossiflor. It's like... I, I just kind of wish there was more variety because it's like there are other grass types in the region And I guess maybe it bums me a little because like grass is my favorite type So I'm like there are so many cool grass types you could be using not that I don't like Gossiflor and Eldegoss, but There there are so many that they could include Honestly like I just want I just want like a grass gym or a trainer like important trainer of some sort that's like really really good actually we're not gonna fight the trainer because we're so over leveled um because it's like i i know grass type has the most weaknesses and that's why it's you know probably used for earlier gems because it, it's pretty easy to counter them i mean we had no yamper yamper no we had um what's his face ramos is that was that his name in kalos he was like the, was he the fifth gym maybe? It's been a long time since I played X and Y. Um, I really liked him. Like he, his gym was really cool. He was a cool dude, but um, it, you know, kind of easy to fight to be honest. It, it, it's hard to make a grass team really, really strong if it's mono grass because it has so many weaknesses that like you almost can't really cover them all because I mean, you have to cover five different weaknesses with a team of six Pokemon that are all grass type. So it, it would be tough to make a grass trainer that's super, you know, powerful and hard to beat. But I, I'm still holding out for that day because I adore grass types. It's time, boys. It's time for the best aspect in all of this game and that is the music for gym battles literally the greatest battle theme in the entire freaking game don't at me my gym's the first one people face so we get a lot of challengers that's why i try to keep the gym mission challenging but that didn't stop you from completing it gecko proper job sure seems like you understand pokemon real well this is going to be a doozy of a battle <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, I'm not going to talk when the music kicks in because I, I need to hear it. You can bet I'm jamming out to this right now, by the way. <laughs> that The intro little section is my favorite part. Not like that very, very part, but once once it like kicks in, oh, it's so good. Dun, 
don't sing at me. But yeah, like, I kind of want to flex by just not even Dynamaxing against this guy. But I also don't want to get cocky either because every time I do that in Nuzlocke, doesn't end well. Actually, just in general, doesn't end well. And plus, I want to see enormous Doggo, so we'll Dynamax. Okay, I don't even know what Max Starfall does. Oh, that's Misty Terrain. Eh, it doesn't really matter. This thing is going to freaking die anyway. There's the big doggo. Look at him. I love how they look down at the opponent. It is like the most freaking intimidating thing ever. Especially Leon's Charizard. I think that is like the most intimidating Dynamax in the game. Like the way it just, oh, it's got that big hulking body and it just, its head glares down at you. It's so good. You won't be smiling for long, Eldegoss. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that does not do very much damage. Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't even think about the fact that... Um, whatchamacallit... Lowering Spadef doesn't even matter, because we're physical. Maybe I should- actually, I should use Max Knuckle. What am I doing? Grassy terrain is so weird. Does it heal grass types more than others? It's like, why- your opponent gets the benefit too. That was always weird to me. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Okay, yeah, that was a bit better. Oh, that was a crit, that's why. Next one will be stronger, though. Ooh, ouch. Ow. Our speed. Yeah, I don't like that. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. I don't think we live another hit. I actually think we don't live another hit. But there's nothing we can do about it though. That's the problem. We can we can use our one potion for the battle for Charlie. I don't like the fact that we have to use it during Dynamax, but I think that's the only way we live this. And I, oh, I did not put a berry on her. I really wish I would have done that. I think we have to. We have a super potion. I didn't know we had these. We must have picked it up somewhere. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, perfect. Please have mercy. Okay, we're good. I, I'm i lucky that it didn't use Max Strike again. That would be very bad. So we're all right right now. But had it gone for Max Strike again, the Super Potion would have saved our life because only healing 20 more, I don't think would have kept us alive. Maybe barely, but I, I missed exactly how much the, what it, oh, that's, no, the muscle, that's not good right now. I missed how much it did at first. Yes, please just keep using grass moves. That was still strong as heck. Yeah, dropping attack doesn't really matter, but it's our strongest move. It's good that we also got the attack boost from Max Knuckle. I wish we had done that twice. I should have paid more attention. But gosh. That's what was doing so much damage. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have extreme speed. 
Well, we're out speeding anyway. It or wait, are we? I'm sorry. Guys, I'm recording this so, so, so early in the morning. I have to admit, I'm playing this super early before work. I usually record after. So uh, my brain is not firing on all cylinders right now. I suppose it's, it's not like that early. It's only six in the morning, but it's not like I got up in the middle of the night. But I also stayed up till two last night. <laughs> so I, I'm not working on many hours of sleep right now. All right, we got the grass badge. Sick. Yeah, the way they do the badges of this gen is pretty cool. You're like building one entire badge instead of like all of them being individual things. It's kind of cool. Well, we did it, guys. We beat the first gym. We got Magical Leaf. I wonder if anyone could learn that. That would be a good move to have. To have some some grass damage output, if someone can get that. I don't know who would be able to learn that, to be honest, but... Stop at Holberry next to meet Nessa. Holberry is just beyond Route 5, which is the next point A to B route that you go on, so it's going to be really easy to find. Alright, this is also exciting for another reason, because now that we have beaten a gym, no one can learn that, we can get another wild area encounter. So why don't we go do that? Um, I'm going to assess the situation with our team right now and look at what we're weak to. We, let's see. Um, I don't know. Do we really have? I mean, we don't have any resistances to fighting. Yeah, I mean, I guess fighting would, would be a, li a bit of a problem if we ran into. That won't become prevalent for a little while. I mean, obviously, electric type would be nice to have against Nessa, but it's not entirely necessary. Jackie actually... Well, Jackie might evolve before the next gym. Maybe not. Um, so anyway, let's see what the wild area weather's like right now. Um, there we go. Okay, so mostly normal. There's some extreme sun, which... Um, none of the types are completely set in stone of what you'll find, but th this could be, you know, mostly fire types. Maybe a few other things. Raining. This is all we have access to right now. That kind of sucks. I almost want to just go to the very opening areas and go for something neutral. We got our, um, oh wait, this, we got our first encounter in the wild area from this first little section here. Um, I'm going to play that we, we can't go to the same section again, even if the weather's different or whatever. Um, but we could go over here to the Dappled Grove. Okay. So, I'm actually going to put someone else up front to weaken this thing down. Whatever we end up finding. Alright. Our first encounter is a Hoot Hoot. Well, okay. I was about to be disappointed because Hoot Hoot's not, like, an amazing Pokemon. It is coverage for flying, though. Well, I mean, or for, did I say flying? Coverage for fighting. Um, the thing is, like, our team is really solid right now. I mean, if anything, like, this is doubling up because of fire types. But... I don't know. Do do we want a hoot hoot though? Well, let's um, let's see what else pops up in the overworld because that could potentially be in the grass as well. If we want to, what are you? Oh, it's an oddish. I couldn't see the leaves at first. It just looked like a blue dot. Oddish. A uh, funnel bee. Ooh, shiny. A tiny mushroom. Oddish. Yeah, honestly, Hoot Hoot is kind of seeming like the best bet. I don't think we'd add it to the team. Well, okay. 
I know this is probably like blasphemy to some people. We could replace bugs since we have double fire types. I know it's our starter and that seems really wrong. But Arcanine is better overall right now. She has more like different types of moves than bugs will ever get unless we give him TMs and TRs. So we could do that. So I am going to go for the Hoot Hoot because flying is good for the team. I what? Let's do this. I will leave it up to the people. You guys watching. Should we replace bugs or is that too mean? Should we keep the starter in the team? What do, what do you think? I'll let you guys make that decision. So I don't, don't want to step on any toes here. I know some people feel very strongly about keeping your starter. I usually do in all my playthroughs, to be honest. But in this case, we, we got to be smart, man. This is, this is a Nuzlocke challenge. We got to do what will keep the team alive. Even if that means dropping some members that... I mean, hey, but let's look at it this way. If we put Score Bunny, or excuse me, Raboot, if we put Bugs in the box, he can never die because he's not battling. So it's kind of a good thing, right? Right? All right, let's name Hoot Hoot. What should we name? I'm trying to think of, of fictional owls. Fictional owls. I could be super lazy and just call it Owl from Winnie the Pooh, but I'm not going to do that. All right. I had to do some research for this one, guys. I could not think of any fictional owls that weren't just named Owl. Uh, so I was looking up fictional owls. This is technically a cartoon character because it's, it's like drawn. Apparently, the U.S. Forest Service's mascot or like one of the mascots they use is Woodsy the Owl. And fun fact, his catchphrase is lend, uh, give a hoot, don't pollute. So we're going to have an eco-friendly owl on the team. Her name is Woodsy. We are going to put you in the box for now. She can chill in there. And if you guys are okay with me dropping our starter, if that's not going to, that's not going to bother people, we'll do that. And uh, let's continue for now with the team that we have. Okay. So off we go. Oh, actually, we are about to get two new Pokemon. Because one of them is a gift Pokemon. Along this route. Let's put in let's let's give Monstro some time. Actually let's not. She is still only or he still only has rest. <laughs> I'd rather actually not do that. Um who hasn't really gotten to fight? Jackie like is not that strong yet. He only has tackle. Let's get Cheshire in here. New party member. I know we used her a little bit when we got her, but Double battle time. Gillian and Cam. <gasps> they have the lizard boy. The inferior lizard boy because Heliolisk is so much cooler. Okay. We're not in any immediate danger from what's on the field. So let's let's fake out the let's fake out the clink, because this thing usually sets up. Um and then we can double kick it. I'm not gonna worry about the Helioptile right now. Kick it. Oh my gosh, dude. That's brutal. Oh, please don't. Please don't do that. I don't like not being able to hit things. Um Let's let's get some money. Throw throw some money. And then you can finish off the clink. Get it out of here. Kick it right in its gear face. Ooh, Jackie, you're getting closer. Please, please stop hurting Cheshire. That's not very kind of you. Yeah, hit that. 
Hit that little lizard. Actually, please don't hurt the lizard, but we have to. Okay, I'm just gonna switch out to protect this little baby. Just, just honestly, just bring Monstro in. This, this thing can't touch Monstro. It's gonna be dead from this attack probably anyway. But Monstro can literally just sit here being a sponge. Yeah, we're done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Helioptile. I don't like kicking lizards in the face. I'd really rather not do that ever again. Alright, well, film time's over, guys. I'm not doing any stupid interview you want. Oh, okay, Spritzy was already the first thing up near us. Um, honestly, like, Spritzy, I'm, I'm, I kind of have wanted to use one just because I hate aromatis a lot, and I don't, I just feel like using one would make me like it more. However, with that being said, I need to look up this thing's moveset because I don't know what it gets outside of its fairy moves. So let me just check that quick. Okay, so it does get... Psychic and Calm Mind, which kind of early on, which is really good. I also, however, though, in looking this up, was reminded that this thing evolves by being traded. And we're not allowing that. We're just playing within the game and what you're able to do within the game. So um, this thing would never be able to become an Aromatis anyway. It would never be, be an evolved Pokemon. So I'm not really sure that that's worth it because its stats are so much better when it evolves. Um, so I think we might I think we might pass on this even though I'd like to try using one someday. So sorry Spritzy. Let's check out what's in the grass. No guys, guys. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, it was destined to be, I guess. It was destined to be. Dan, thank you. Yes, Charlotte from Princess and the Frog. I feel like this fits pretty well. Of a cartoon of characters that just like immediately come to mind. So this will be Charlotte. Charlotte, you're going in the box for now. We're going to call the episode, but I want to grab our other Pokemon first. So, we can go into the daycare and get this little friend right here. We got a Toxel. Hi, buddy. Alright. So, we also get this little baby. Okay, I know that Toxel's not a dog. I understand that. But this is going to be KK Slider because we have to shout out one of the greatest musicians of all time. So, KK, you are going to join... Well, I don't know if you're going to join the team or not, but you are going to exist. And at first, I want to see the summary because I want to see which Toxitricity we're going to get based on nature. Freaking damn it! This is low-key form. That's what I've had every single time. Ah, I want to use the other one! I never get the amped form. Okay, whatever. Just go to the box, KK. Alright, well... Oh, thank you. That's very helpful. Um, okay. Let, let me out. Alright, guys. So, we have quite a few new members that could potentially be added to the team. So, we'll go through and, and give people items and stuff so I don't forget to do that again. But... We have, obviously, the existing team. We also have Powerpuff the Diglett, Diablo, who, you know, we got rid of because he wasn't helping that much. Woodsy, another burb. Charlotte, kind of a burb. And KK Slider. So I'm going to let you guys decide what we add to the team. Um, I think Jackie, we should definitely keep one of our biggest assets. He's going to evolve at level 20 and have elemental punches so that's going to be really good. I mean, Monstro's bulky. Charlie's bulky and an Arcanine. I mean, we we have a good team. Like, we've got good members on here. Um, I, I would say that 
you know, Bugs is a repeat typing. He doesn't get a secondary typing at all. Rocky has been the MVP of this team. But she is also a normal type, so if we want more coverage, we could add somebody else for her. Um, you guys let me know who we should put on the team. I want your thoughts on it. Um, so there are options. I'll leave them up here. I mean, you guys can pause and see them as long as you want. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'm excited to see what team we come up with for next time. See you guys around.